Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Casio FX991 MS calculator. To do this we need to use the shift key that looks like this located here, the mode key that looks like this located here, the answer key with the shift function of DRG or degrees, radians, gradients, conversion. That looks like this, located here. The EXP key with the shift function of pi, that looks like this, located here. And the fraction key, or the ABC key, that looks like this, located here. Let's say we had 45 degrees and wanted to convert that to radians. First thing we want to do is set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So we want our calculator set to radians mode for this. At the top of our calculator screen you can see a D, which tells us our calculator is in degrees mode. We need to change that to radians for this. To do that we press the mode key and keep pressing it until we see these three options degrees, radians, gradients. Since we want to set our calculator to radians, we press 2 for rad. Now we should see an R at the top of our screen, letting us know our calculator is set to radians mode. Next, we enter our 45 degrees. So we go 45, and now we need to tell our calculator these are degrees. To do that, we press shift, and then the answer key down here with the shift function of degrees, radians, gradients. There we go. And we're given this menu. Since we're starting with degrees, we want to press number 1 for D. There we go. Now we see a degrees symbol after our 45, so we have 45 degrees. Now if we press equals, we see we get a result of 0 0.7853, etc. So that's our radian result. But what if we want a result in this format here? Well, to do that, what we can do is divide our answer by pi. So we press divide, shift, exp, so answer divided by pi, press equals. And we see we get a result of 0 0.25, which we should recognize as 1 over 4. But if we don't, we can press the fraction key or a b over c and get a result of 1 over 4 which we know in this context is the same as pi over 4. What if we were given the radians let's say pi over 4 and wanted to get this as degrees? Well we do the same thing. First we have to set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. Since we're in radians right now we need to change this to degrees. So we press mode and keep going until we see these three options and choose number one for degrees because that's what we want our results as. We see the D at the top of our screen so we know we're in the right mode. Next we enter our radian. So we'll do pi over 4. To do that we can press shift exp key. There's our pi and then our fraction key Four. There we go. Now if we press equals, we see we get our radians as a decimal form, which we had before. And if we want to convert this to degrees, we press shift, answer, and then tell our calculator these are radians. So we choose number two, and press equals, and see we get a result of 45 degrees. Let's look at another example. Let's say we had 180 degrees and wanted to convert that to radians. Again, since we're starting in degrees and converting to radians, we set our calculator to the results we want, which is radians. And we can enter our degrees now. So 180. And then we tell our calculator these are degrees with the shift, answer, and number one. There's the degree symbol there. 
and press equals and see we get 3.1415 etc which should look familiar but just in case it doesn't we can divide that by pi and see we get a result of 1 so 180 degrees is equal to pi and again in reverse let's say we were given pi and wanted to get that in degrees since we're going to degrees, we set our calculator to degree mode. There we go, we see the D at the top. And now we enter pi on our screen. And now we have to tell our calculator these are radians. So we do that again, shift, answer, choose number two for radians. There we go, we see pi r, which is telling us that's a radian. Press equals and we get a result of 180 degrees. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.